Okay. <clears throat> Welcome to my first ever live video. This is <laughs> me trying to teach about Agartha. So, <laughs> um. First of all, what is Agartha? And if you can hear the TV in the background, let me know. <laughs> I have the. I'm watching Jimmy Fallon with Ricky Martin to like try to make me feel not as shy. Oh my gosh, my eyebrow. <laughs> but maybe one day I'll get some viewers. <laughs> I'm going to go live on my comedy channel too. It's called LMFAO Comedy. <laughs> but, um... What is a Gartha? It's the inner earth world. And it's being kept a secret from almost everybody. And <laughs> we got to get to Agartha, y'all. Hey, <laughs> what's up, Lawrence? <laughs> so, I'm doing good, and you can ask me anything about Agartha, and I'll try my best to answer it. I don't know everything, but thank you. And you can also watch me out <laughs> on my OnlyFans page. <laughs> but hopefully we get to Agartha soon. Because <laughs> our government is ran by a bunch of demonic, shape shifting reptilians that are like sucking our soul away. <laughs> Which is not funny, but for some reason I'm laughing. I don't know why I'm laughing about it. Because I think I get shy. And... I can't wait to make more comedy videos, but anyway. I only have one video on my comedy channel. And... Supposedly... There's a giant ass hole at the North Pole and a giant ass hole at the South Pole. And if you go in this hole, it's supposed to take you to Agartha. And You've heard of Richard E. Bird, right? Can you hear me, Lawrence? <laughs> I'm watching TV too because it's helping my mind meditate. And when you meditate, it helps you to have more clearer thoughts. Oh my gosh, the commercial. 
it's showing the Aurora Borealis for the Expedia commercial and I bet you anything that the Aurora Borealis is most likely probably the light coming from the inside of the planet from Agartha and I think this light from Agartha it's some type of magical type of light and this light is shooting up out of the giant hole at the North Pole creating the Aurora Borealis it's the Quasa Luminous guy he says that the Aurora Borealis is the memories of the planet I think that's what he says I make some crazy facial expressions I need to calm my face um, <laughs> I guess everything's great I mean great um, Oh my gosh, that's my emerald diamond ring. It's so pretty. That's real diamonds. <laughs> but. If Agartha's real, then I'm basically like a genius for figuring this out. Because you pretty much kind of have to be a genius to figure out about Agartha. Because most people don't know about Agartha. That's why the title of this video is Teaching About Agartha. Because most people have no idea what it is. Thank you. <laughs> Somehow I magically got kind of sort of smart by the grace of God and according to the Agartha book this is super super freaking exciting I'm trying not to make really crazy faces because my face wants to make really crazy faces thanks What did you send it on Facebook Messenger? Fuck, what was I talking about? <laughs> a lot of times I'll get really excited and I'll lose track of what I'm talking about because I'm so, so excited to be alive. It's wonderful. It's great. Woo. <laughs> but... Say I get too excited, and I have to focus my thoughts. Y'all yeah, add you. <laughs> and. Oh, yeah, now I remember what I was talking about. The Agartha book. This is super exciting now. Supposedly. I'm hoping this happens, because if this happens, that would be super freaking awesome if this were to happen this should give you a reason to want to stay alive if you don't think you have a reason to stay alive but you definitely have a reason to stay alive but anyways the book the Agartha book it says that the Agartha Garthen people are going to come to the surface of the planet by the thousands on their spaceships and they're supposed to 
come to every major city and they are supposed to invite us to live with them in a garden. And that would be really freaking awesome to live there. Their technology in Agartha is billions of years ahead of our technology. Lawrence, can you hear the TV in the background? <laughs> can you hear it? That's Jimmy Fallon. And I didn't pay attention to who the guy is, but it was, um, fuck, I forget his name, Ricky Martin, but Ricky Martin left, or he's not talking now. Their technology is so advanced in Agartha, according to the book, that... They are supposed to shrink, shrink themselves down to our size. Because a lot of these Agarthan people are very tall. And why is it that they're very tall? I just hate it when my eyebrows look like shit. I'm always, it probably looks okay. Okay, don't touch my. <laughs> but these Agartha people, they are so tall that if you seen them coming towards you, you would probably get scared. They're extremely freaking tall. Like, some of them is 12 feet tall, and even taller than that. And supposedly, I guess they can shrink themselves down, and they can grow themselves back to their height. Well, I need to go down there so they can grow me, because I'm super short. I'm only like 5 foot, 5 one. Because when you go to bed at night, when you go to bed, you're like an inch shorter. And when you wake up, you're about an inch taller. Because gravity pulls your spine down during the day. And I wonder if they'll come up here on their spaceships in our lifetime. Please, God, let it happen in our lifetime. Because those reptilian things that's controlling this planet, they're literally torturing us and murdering us to death. Like, I don't see how the inner earth people can live such a happy life when they can see, they see we're being tortured and murdered and I think what it is they know that we are so toxic and we are so destructive and they know that these reptilian shapeshifters are torturing us and they have to wait until we become smarter and we live through our heart and not be so demonic toward each other and like soulless and supposedly we have to learn about Agartha I think for them to want to come up here to rescue us to take us to Agartha and 
my brain is like so excited so it's making me sleepy because I got too excited Normally, the people that live in Agartha, a lot of them walk around barefooted because when you walk around barefooted on the soil, it helps you connect with the planet more. Like, it helps your energy supposedly they're going to... They only want the good people to live in Agartha. Like, if you're really evil and you like murdering people just to do it, to be a jackass, they don't want you living in Agartha. They want you to live through your heart. And when you live through your heart, that's when you treat others with respect. And you care about other people. And you want to try to help other people. That's the kind of people they want to live in Agartha. There's already a bunch of people that I know for a fact who would want to live in Agartha if they knew it existed. But there's too many people that don't know about Agartha. Like, the reason why they're not going to tell you about Agartha on the news is... They don't talk about Agartha on the news because the reptilian shapeshifters, the ones with the sharp teeth that's eating our kids, they are controlling the news. Thank you. And the reptilian shapeshifters, they don't want you to know that Agartha exists. Because if you knew... If everybody knew it existed, we would all be living, we would all be trying to get to Agartha. And the inner earth people, they would be coming up here and they would be inviting us to live with them in Agartha. I'll keep trying to make these live videos where I try to teach all I know about Agartha. Because that's one of the ways we get to Agartha. We have to know it exists. These Agarthan people, their technology is so advanced that they have TV screens like how we have, but somehow they are able to see through the planet. Supposedly they could see everything that we are all doing and they don't need, they don't need a camera to see what we are doing they can just straight up see through the planet they have like all these magic powers and we are supposed to have magic powers like how they have they're kind of almost like x-men like super be superhuman beings and the reason why we don't seem like that us surface people is because those reptilian shapeshifter things, they hijacked this planet. The book says there's a reptilian king. And he used to be on this planet a long time ago. But he left this planet. He might have went to the, C the C C Cyrus, planet Sirius, Cyrus. They might, he might have went back to that planet. But when he came to this planet, that a new king made all of us people his slaves. Because, thank you. Because he had a, like a, he was power hungry. And... 
his reptilian minions, they're still controlling the surface of the planet. And if there's rip, there's definitely reptilians in Agartha. But those reptilians are not evil. There are evil demonic type of reptilians that live underground. But they don't live down as far under the ground as Agartha. Yes, that's that Kevin Hart commercial. So you can gamble on your favorite team. Thank you. Dang, now I forget what I was talking about. Yes. The reptilians, I think they do eat human flesh. The reptilians, they see humans as a food source. And I think they do steal our children. And they drink their blood down under the ground in these secret areas. There's a chemical in their blood called adrenochrome. And they suck the baby's blood while they're alive and screaming. And that's because that adrenochrome, it's a chemical in the kid's blood, in their adrenaline. I think the adrenochrome might keep them looking younger longer. And it possibly might prevent them from shape-shifting. And... Damn, I guess I should have announced... I should have announced my video <laughs> to try to get more views. Damn, now I know to do that next time. Oh well. I can always make more live YouTube videos later on. Because nobody knew I was making a live video. I should have told people. That's what I get for not telling nobody. Oh well, my live video, when it's done, it'll still be there for people to see later on. But. The, the demonic type of reptilians. They see us humans as a rat, like a cockroach. The reptilians are actually way, way smarter than us humans, except, except they lack love and they lack empathy. Like without love and Empathy, you're kind of fucking retarded if you don't have love or empathy. That's like one of the main things you need to be a human to even function in the world. Without love and empathy, that could like get you in jail. Because if you can't treat other people right, I mean, you ass gonna get shot or something. <laughs> See, I make like funny ass faces. But... Supposedly, because you heard of Saint Germain, right? Supposedly, Saint Germain lives in Agartha, and supposedly, Buddha lives in Agartha. Nikola Tesla is said to live in Agartha, but he looks more, um, he's like less human like. Like, he's a human, but he looks lighter. Maybe he's in his physical body. I mean, his spirit body in Agartha. And the reptilians, they definitely control what's being shown on TV. Especially the news. The news is so mind-blowingly demonic. It's used as a control mechanism to make us sad and depressed and not know the truth of what's really going on. 
they actually cover up a lot more things than what they should be. They cover up a lot. Because every major thing that controls our life, such as food, water, shelter, air, schooling, all of that stuff, those, those reptilian things is controlling all of this stuff. And most people who have never heard about reptilians or Agartha, of course, automatically, they're going to not think it's real because they've never heard of it. If you've never heard of something before, you're not going to be like, oh, yeah, it's real. If you've never heard of it. I read like three. No, I read like. I read like five books that talk about Agartha. That's why I feel like, I feel like I've done my digging plenty enough from either books or online to make my title saying, Teaching About Agartha. Because I know enough information about Agartha to teach about it. And if you learn about Agartha and you you feel like it could, it might be real... You're supposed to tell other people about it. You're not supposed to keep that information to yourself. That's why I'm making this video because this is not information that should just be kept to myself. This is information that every single person on the planet needs to know. And not enough people know about this stuff. And everything in Agartha is free. Everything. In Agartha, they use an advanced bartering system. So they have different centers all over Agartha where you can just trade your items for a different item. Like, that's what we're supposed to be having. We do have a little bit of that, a little bit, but we need more of that. Like I noticed that there's two of these I've seen around my neighborhood where you can leave a book. If you leave a book, you can take a book. That's like what they do, but they have like whole centers set up for that. Our little leave a book, take a book thing that people have in their yard is very small like we should be way more advanced than that like I'm talking their food is free in Agartha clothing is free in Agartha shelter is free in Agartha it's so freaking exciting talking about Agartha I'm actually putting my life at great danger by speaking and talking about Agartha. Like, if the reptilians knew I was talking about Agartha right now, which I'm not a celebrity, so I'm probably not going, probably not going to get murdered for talking about Agartha because there's hardly anybody watching my video. So they don't give a fuck because there's hardly anybody watching me anyway. But if there were like millions of people that seen me talking about this, oh, you can bet for sure I'm probably going to get murdered. But fuck it, because my name, my real name, is Rachel. And Rachel is Hebrew for gentle lamb. What did they do in the Passover with the lambs? In the Passover... They put the lamb's blood over the doors, supposedly, so God wouldn't kill their firstborn kid. That sounds like a demonic god. That does not sound like the good god. I think what it is, I think those reptilians, they definitely got a hold of the Bible. And they manipulated the Bible to control and manipulate the population and to scare us. And... 
the evil ones, like, you know, the revelations part in the Bible, where it talks about the prophecy stuff, I think what it is, the evil ones, probably the reptilians, thank you, oh yeah, what I was trying to say about Rachel, my name, is, I'm like a sacrifice, I'm supposed to sacrifice myself, or at least put my life on the line by talking about this stuff to try to teach more people about it so we can get to Agartha. The book says we're actually not supposed to even be here. We're not supposed to be at the surface of the planet. We are supposed to be in Agartha. And this is one of the greatest one of the biggest secrets of all time history. I love it when you ask questions about Agartha. According to the Agartha book, there's 120 cities in Agartha. It's so exciting talking about Agartha. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. They're so going to want to murder me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh well, kill me, motherfuckers. Come try it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I need to make some more comedy videos. I'm definitely... I wonder if I could do that. Um, do a live video on my comedy channel. Even though I only have one motherfucking... I only have one subscriber on my comedy channel. Just one fucking subscriber. Oh my god, these emeralds are so pretty. I get so excited talking about Agartha. That's why I feel like, because I'm so excited talking about Agartha, it really feels like teaching about Agartha, that that's actually my destiny of what I'm supposed to be doing in my life, is teaching. I'm supposed to become a master teacher about Agartha. My comedy channel, which only has one video and one subscriber, I think. <laughs> oh my gosh, I look so demonic when I smile really hard. I look like fucking crazy. <laughs> it's called... And these first letters are all in caps. L M F A O. Comedy, which stands for laughing my fucking ass off comedy. Yes. People have said that if you go to Mount Shasta, which is, is it Northern California? Yeah, I th yes. Mount Shasta is in Northern California. Which, I want to try to visit that mountain one day. I could talk about Agartha for like ever, it feels like. But, there's a city underneath Mount Shasta. And it's called Telos. And sometimes, oh, oh, there's these two iron doors on the base of Mount Shasta. And sometimes you can call the Agarthan people, yes, interterrestrials. Sometimes the Agarthan people will come out of those iron doors at Mount Shasta. And some people think that the Lumerians that was around thousands of years ago, when one of those floods happened... The Lumerians went under, and the Atlanteans, they went underground to escape from the flood. And supposedly underneath Mount Shasta in Northern California, that in the city of Telos, there's like a million people. There may be more than a million. There's somewhere around a million people living under Mount Shasta about two to three miles underneath of Mount Shasta. 
And when you get to the city of Telos, you can get to Agartha. I am so going to try to find Agartha one day. Because if I actually find it and I come back with evidence, I won't seem like just a crazy bitch. Then I'll seem like a fucking genius. And I'm not going to just go to Agartha and not come back. <laughs> no, I'm fucking coming back because that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to teach about Agartha as much as I can teach. While I also go try to find Agartha myself. And I... Okay, what are you saying? Oh my gosh, when I... When you ask me a question about Agartha, I get so freaking excited. I gotta calm my brain down. <laughs> I gotta calm it down. Yes. In Europe, they have underground cities there, too. They have... They have entrances to Agartha. Yes, the comedy channel is on YouTube. And they have underground cities all over the planet. Well, they have entrances all over the planet that lead to Agartha. Everywhere all over the planet. According... Salud. <laughs> According to the book, Almost every state in America has its own entrance to Agartha. Now I have to charge my phone. Isn't it great? So now you'll see me from this angle over here. I would like to learn to speak some more of some other languages. I bet you anything, the people in Agartha, they can probably speak multiple languages. Because these people in Agartha, they are super freaking smart. They're way smarter than us. Because they get to live pure. Like All their food is so pure and their air is so pure that... It keeps them so much healthier because everything there is pure. And I am 35 years old. I'm getting old, but I think what you should do as you get older. I'll share it to you on Facebook mes <laughs> Messenger, Lawrence. I'll, I'll, I'll share it to you. But definitely please ask me a question about Agartha. Because I love that. I said love, then he said love on TV. Dang, now I have to pee. That would be nice to have... <laughs> never mind, never mind. That's for my comedy channel. I'll save that for my comedy channel. <laughs> I guess I gotta like pee. I don't think you want to hear me pee, so should I just have you watch? What is his name? Not Jimmy Kimmel. I mean, not not Jimmy Kimmel or Jimmy Fallon. What's that other dude's name? I forgot his damn name. Our TV is so fucking small. What is his name? Oh my god, am I going to get in trouble for that? I don't think anybody's going to watch that. Oh my god, I got to pee. I'll be right back.
So <laughs> So I'm back because I had to pee. <laughs> and now I have to drink more water. Every time when I pee, <laughs> I try to drink more water to replace the piss that it left my body. <laughs> Maybe I should put that thing away over there. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna need some more water. I sound like a retarded valley girl. I need to just shut the fuck up. What the fuck? So, so, ask me another question about Agartha, and I'll try to answer it. Do you speak French, Fabian? That's his name, Seth Myers, that I'm watching right now. He kind of looks like, like an elf, but I kind of look like an elf too. Maybe I should hide this thing over here. Let me just get this out the way. I wish I did. All I can say is, we. <laughs> I'll try to learn some French just for you. So, if the Agarthan people come up here in their spaceships, and we all get to Agartha, see, they'll let you, get, you know, if you get on the spaceship, as long as your, your energy, you like your soul's energy, it's like when I talk, I show my bottom teeth too much. <laughs> when they come up, yeah. <laughs> When they come up here on the spaceships, the whole entire planet is supposed to have a giant celebration. The whole planet and the whole universe is supposed to have a giant celebration. Because we've been waiting many thousands of years to get to Agartha. Supposedly... We might, you and I, we might be the reincarnation of the Lumerians and the Atlanteans who died in one of those big ass floods. And every time we die, the reptilian archons that are trying to pretend like they're the real god when they're not. Every time we die, our memories 
keep getting erased by this demonic shit. That's why you most likely probably don't remember any of your past lifetimes. Because every time you die, they erase your memory over and over and over. How do you say that? Buggy G? There most likely is probably an entrance under the mountains in Romania. Because there's an entrance all over the planet. And these Agarthan people, they are supposed to come out of these... Not only are they supposed to come up here in their spaceships, but they're also supposed to come out of these entrances... It's at the base of these mountains. It's all over the planet. And i am be hoping and praying every day that we can get to Agartha. So. Oh, shit. I've been trying to mostly just drink water. That's probably why I only weigh like 108 pounds. Thank you, God. That's almost like the inner earth people. I, there's hardly any fat people who live in Agartha. Because they eat so healthy in Agartha. They don't have any pollution in any anything they have. Thank you. Nah. Oh, and another reason why I'm so intuitive is because I'm a life path number 11. That's a master number. That The life path numbers is 11, 33, and 22. I forget what the uh, what the 22 is. One of them is a master builder. And the 11, I think the 11 is a master teacher. One of my zodiac type things, it said if I can master teaching, then I'm mastering who I am as a person and I'm doing exactly what I should be doing. That's why I'm teaching about Agartha. Because I'm trying to do what I'm supposed to do to help save us, to get us to this Agartha place. Because we have been tortured for way too long. It's not just me. And it ain't just you. It's a lot of people who had a very hard life. Very hard. Like, that ain't right. We're not supposed to live our life being tortured to death. Like, that's just fucking retarded. In this Agartha place, everybody lives happily ever after. And that's how we are supposed to be living. We're supposed to be living like them. And I think once these robots take most of the jobs, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You know why I don't worry about it? Because we're going to become more like Agartha as long as we don't get murdered in a nuclear blast. As long as the reptilians don't eat us all, then we will eventually become more and more like how the reptilians... <laughs> I said the reptilians. We will become more and more like how the Agarthan people live. Eventually we're heading in that direction. As long as we can, like, get rid of the evil and fight the evil back, then we can have a good life. As you can tell, I get myself too excited. Because talking about Agartha makes me super freaking happy.
And because I'm a master number 11, I'm a visionary. And the master life path numbers have a lot more energy to them, like a type of a spiritual type of energy. So I got a lot of like magic power type energy within me. And master life path 11s, they also share the traits of twos, which I totally forgot what two energy is, but I'll have to look that back up. And 11s are able to see things that most people are not usually able to see or understand. And because I understand things that a lot of people don't understand, I am supposed to teach about what I can understand about stuff that is of the spirit type realm. It's almost like I'm a sh I'm a, I'm kind of like some type of a shaman and I'm supposed to guide people. I'm supposed to guide souls to this Agartha, Agartha place because this that is where we are supposed to be. Somehow maybe the evil ones like maybe they sucked our souls up here. But the planet is just like almost just kind of like an eggshell. An egg. Think of an egg. Okay, just imagine if you're trying to eat just a raw egg and you're just trying to eat the shell. Ew, you don't want to eat the shell of the egg. The shell of the egg is nasty, it's bitter, it's hard. Hmm, what else sounds nasty, bitter, and hard? Hmm, sounds just like the surface of the planet. And where is all the, nu the nutrition of the egg? In the center of the egg is where a lot of the nutrition is. That's just the same thing as the planet as a whole oh he's got the midget guy on there oh and the inner earth people they they get to see angels a lot more often than what we get to see because the people that live in Agartha, they are living their life on a higher vibrational energy type field. The, the demonic type of reptilians, they have us, they're torturing us so much that it's lowering our vibrational energy. And the lower your vibrational energy is, the faster you die. Like stress, malnourishment, trauma, like that stuff dam is damaging. The more damaged you are, the harder it is to live. I'm hoping that they come up here and save us soon. That would be nice. Hmm. At the very center of the planet, supposedly, there's an inner earth star sun at the center of the planet. And this star sun gives everybody in Agartha free energy. So these Agarthans don't have to pay any electric bill. While we have to pay an arm and a leg for everything. Some people's medical bills here is probably millions of dollars. Meanwhile, in Agartha, they get health care for free. And most people have no idea it exists. That's just too bad. Amorous intentions? What the fuck is amorous? Right 
Supposedly, if you can get to Agartha, you can meet the actual, real Jesus from the Bible. Uh, who doesn't want to meet the real Jesus from the Bible? Because when I was at church, because I don't go to church now, but if you were to say, hey, will you come to church with me? I'll probably be like, yeah, let's go. If you go to church, you will probably hear them say Jesus is coming back. That makes sense because the inner earth people, they are supposed to come back out of these entrances. Doesn't it make sense if the inner earth people come up here? That most likely, if Jesus feels like it's safe to come up here, he'll probably come up here when he feels like it's safe. But for right now, we are too destructive. We're too fucked up and destructive for them to want to come up here. There may be a few of them up here, but they're supposed to eventually come up here by the thousands. When they feel like we're ready to go down there, they're supposed to come up here. Supposedly, it's already writ written in our destiny that we are going to get to Agartha. And I have a really wild photo I took of the moon that I think is some type of evidence letting you know that when you die... There, there may be a good light and a bad light when you die. And I think that this light that pulls you in this tunnel light, I think that there might be some type of machine inside the moon. And it's demonic as hell. And like the movie The Men in, Men in Black, when they erase your memory, I feel like they probably most likely erase your memory in the moon and then they spit you back into another human and you have to start the struggle for money over and over and over and over thank you i want to make more normal videos that are not live but i want to make more live videos too about agartha oh my gosh ariana so pretty She is so gorgeous. Did you know Ariana Grande is a vegan? That is exactly what the Agartha people are. They are vegans. They do not eat any meat in Agartha. That is so freaking cool. The stuff I know about Agartha and reptilians is mind-blowingly shocking. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe I know all this stuff about it. Like, somewhere, I think it was an article I read online. But it said that the inner earth people, they haven't eaten meat in the past 12,000 years. Not 1,200, like 12,000 years ago. They used to eat meat, I think. Then they realize that when you eat meat, it gives you cancer. And it clogs your gut up. And it gives off bad, harmful acid. You notice if you eat a lot of meat, you'll get acid reflex. It's because you're not supposed to be eating meat. You're supposed to be eating vegetables and fruit. But with veg And I want to make a food channel, too. Oh, my God. You can make, did you know, you can make up to 50 channels under one account on YouTube? Oh my gosh, that sounds like a fun time right there, right? That means every category of something I want to talk about, I'm going to try to make a YouTube channel about it. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. I want to make like a health food channel that talks about all this stuff I know about food and healthy stuff.
like according to the Agartha book the book says that there are vending machines all over Agartha and you go to the vending machine and you get food for free and it's all over Agartha oh my god <laughs> And then the star sun at the center of the planet, which gives life to everything in Agartha. <laughs> oh my gosh. Then my mind went blank because I'm getting too excited. The capital city of Agartha is called Shambhala. I definitely want to go to Shambhala and I want to see all the 120 cities in Agartha. Each city has its own culture. Like there's a Chinese culture in Agartha. Just like how we have, but they have it there and theirs is way more extravagant than our cultures. They have a lot more life to them compared to us. Like, they're more lively because they're more healthier. They're more active. And this city called Shambhala. This is the city that's closest to... That's the city that's the closest to the inner earth star sun at the center of the planet. And... According to the book, in Shambhala, the roads are made out of pure, solid gold. And on the road, the golden roads of Shambhala, the reason why they created these roads is because they don't want anybody... To step on the grass or the plants in Agartha. Because when you step on the plants and the grass as you walk. You're killing the plants and smushing them. And that messes up the energetic blueprint pattern of the planet. So they found a way to with the golden roads. Gold is said to have magic type of powers to gold. And when you're walking on the golden streets in Shambhala, according to the book, you float, float in the air. Maybe a few inches. You, you hover a little bit. You know, I don't think you fly real high in the air, but you float off the ground a little bit. And as you're walking... As you're floating, you're walking normally, but you're floating as you're walking. That's why, like, I want to get some gold jewelry that's 100% pure gold. Because stuff you wear against your skin, your skin's going to absorb it. Even though I kind of feel bad that I want to make epoxy resin jewelry. I mean, I'm happy and excited that I want to make it and I'm starting to make it, but... Then at the same time, I kind of feel bad because epoxy resin is probably, that ain't no good for your skin, but fuck it, epoxy resin jewelry is really pretty. <laughs> and you, and if you eat gold, gold has health, it's supposed to have health benefits to it. And... There's this library in Agartha. It's called Portholagos. And in Portholagos, 
there's this library and according to the Agartha book this library has all the information from the whole planet all our history is in this library called, called Portologos and this library of Portologos is in northern Africa and it's way under the ground I think it's like 300 to 800 miles below the ground that's how Agartha is 300 to 800 miles below the ground but definitely ask me questions about Agartha because I love that And they have some type of technology in Agartha to where they, I think they can instantly tell what nutrients your body is low in. That's good. And what did you see in the dream state? Oh, I know a way to where you could probably, most likely, like, astral project yourself to Agartha while you're sleeping. What you probably could do, because the way you can kind of manipulate yourself to have a certain dream, which I, I need to try this more often because I did it before and it worked. And I wasn't even really trying to make it work, but it's one of those things that just happened and I'm like, whoa... Did you know, if you look at an image, stare at an image before you go to sleep, the more likely you're going to have a dream about that image. Did you know that? So if you have an image, if you if you look at an image of Agartha before you go to sleep, uh, that might help, help you have a dream about Agartha. And what can you tell me about the portal, about maybe like, how the portal looked because portals are real I think oh and that Ukraine Russian war thing I think what that is when I was watching Bro Sanchez on one of his videos there was this Russian guy talking to this other guy and I think what might be going on with that Russian Ukraine war there's a portal I think in Ukraine and this portal, those demonic type of reptilians are coming out of this portal. And supposedly the demonic type of evil reptilians. It's the guy said that they're the the um the demonic type of reptilians they're eating the dead bodies from the Ukraine Russian war. And the Russians, they have some type of technology that can kill the reptilians. But the reptilians are very hard to kill. I would really like to know. How in the fuck did the reptilians get so damn fucking powerful and strong? How the fuck? They're like super fucking... They're super smart, except for they lack empathy and love. And it's like every time they, they kill the reptilians coming out the portals in Ukraine, more reptilians just keep coming out the portals. That's probably why, if you look on the news stuff, they keep on talking about the rip, they keep on talking about Ukraine Russian war. Because the reptilians probably keep coming out the portals and the news is in on all this stuff because the reptilians are controlling the news and the reptilians, they don't want you to know any truth at all. They don't want you to, they don't want you to know your true history. They don't want you to know who you are. They don't want you to know where you came from. They don't want you to know what is going on. That's why I really don't like watching the news. Like my mom, she'll turn it on and I'll watch it with her. But 
I don't really want to watch it because it's fucking demonic. Because it just keeps talking about people getting murdered. And I know the reptilians are talking about, keep talking about murders on the news. Because the reptilians know exactly what the fuck they're doing. And they're trying to lower our vibrational energy. Because these type, these demonic type of reptilians, they are very telepathic and psychic, but in an evil way. And they are feeding off of humanity like a vampire. That's what that, the evil type of reptilians are. They are vam basically kind of like a dragon that stands like a human. And it's like a parasite. And a vampire combined in one. And I think they weren't really meant to be created. There was some article online that I read that there's this one type of ET race called the Carrions. And the Carrions is some type of bird type of alien looking race. Well, Quasi Luminous, he says aliens don't exist. Because technically, you can have a kid, you can have a baby with a reptilian because we are genetically related to the reptilians. Because thousands of years ago, the reptilians genetically modified us humans. And they, the reptilians had sex with people and it created these hybrids, which is us, kind of. Like we got, you got reptilian and you... And I have some reptilian in me. Just because you look human does not mean you don't have any reptilian in you. You just don't notice you have reptilian in you because you don't look like a reptile. But when you think about it, what does your skin do? Your skin sheds. When you take a shower, you're washing off dead skin cells. That's kind of like shedding your skin but it's doing it so it's doing it at such a low kind of amount you don't really realize your skin is coming off because you we don't, we don't think of it that way because we're not physically just pulling our skin off like how you would see a reptile like a lizard how you would see it shed just because you don't see your skin doing that doesn't mean your skin is not doing that. Your skin is doing that. Every time you take a shower, you're washing off dead skin cells. They're real sneaky and slick, these reptilian things. They think they're so fucking slick and sneaky. But we're starting to wake up, and we're on to this. We're, we're getting on to them. We're starting to wake up. We're starting to know... What is actually really going on? And once enough of us learn the truth, well, you heard the saying, the truth will set us all free. That uh, Once enough people know the truth about everything, then hopefully finally we'll get back to Agartha, where we can live happily ever after What's really interesting is a lot of people in Agartha, their whole houses, and including that library in Prothologos, their, and their temples too, are made out of pure, solid gemstones and diamonds that grows right from the earth. And you know what that makes them? That makes them richer than all of our richest people on the whole planet combined together. Now you see why I'm so excited to talk about Agartha. Because it really does feel like it's my destiny to teach about this place. Because hardly anybody knows about it. But some people are starting to wake up. In the Agartha book, 
there was this 18 year old and he lived in the Vatican and the Cardinal Vatican the Pope the book says that the Pope beats the kids there and somebody left some money laying on the table and the 18 year old he stole the money off the table and he took a flight to Mount Shasta and he got into Agartha through the secret door, the iron door that's at the base of Mount Shasta. And the, the Vatican, the Cardinal that was beating the 18 year old, he knew that the 18 year old had went to Mount Shasta. I think the other guy, he had a friend, I forget his name, the 18 year old, he had a friend. And I think the friend told the Cardinal about where he went. And I think that's why the Cardinal chased after him. And the 18 year old in the book, he met the actual Jesus. And then eventually the Cardinal went to Agartha through Mount Shasta to chase after the 18 year old to try to bring him back to the Vatican. And when the Cardinal met Jesus, the Cardinal said, this is blasphemy. I don't believe you're Jesus because if you was Jesus, you would be like 2,000 years old. And after he was saying that, it made Jesus, he wasn't happy about that, that he said that. And... The cardinal, he was trying to pull the kid and make him go and leave Agartha. But the 18-year-old, he didn't want to leave Agartha. And he let go of his arm. And Jesus made him go back to the Vatican. And when Jesus made the cardinal go back to the Vatican, the cardinal disappeared before everyone's eyes like magic these inner earth people i bet they can have i bet they got all kinds of really cool powers like i've experienced telepathic stuff myself it does seem like i'm it definitely seems like i am an agarthan like a Lumerian or an Atlantean. And it seems like I'm just re reincarnated up here. Because we keep on reincar reincarnating over and over. And we're trying to get back to Agartha. But a lot of us don't know we're trying to get back to it. Because our memories keep getting erased every time we die. But somehow I, I woke up. And I'm like, whoa, I need to teach about this stuff so we can get back to Agartha. Oh my gosh, in the Agartha book, it said there's actual dragons that live in Agartha. And these dragons that live in Agartha, they look like how you would think a dragon would look like with the, with the wings the whole thing of how a dragon would look is how they look. This one part of the Agartha book, they seen a dragon. And the Agartha book, it said that dragons and humans used to live together on the surface of the planet thousands of years ago. But humans kept killing the dragons, so it forced the dragons to get to Agartha so they can live their life in peace away from the people that was killing them. And the way that the dragons was able to get to Agartha is because there's a giant hole at the North Pole and the South Pole. That's how the dragons was able to get into Agartha. Oh my gosh. You know how like the planet keeps getting hotter and hotter, right? What if... The planet gets so hot, right? 
What if at the North Pole? Just imagine. It's warm at the North Pole. If it gets warm at the North Pole, you know what that means? We'll be able to walk right through that hole at the North Pole and we won't get, we won't freeze to death. That'll be so freaking awesome. <gasps> and you know what? Did you know when a tree petrifies, it turns into gemstones and diamonds? Did you know that? So if the inner earth people's houses and temples and Portalagos, the library of Portalagos, if their whole buildings is made out of gemstones and diamonds, don't you think that sounds like this whole giant planet or this whole planet might have been just one giant tree and then multiple other giant trees grew on top of the big giant tree because all the continents used to be one continent. That's wild, right? What could have happened? I've heard that there actually has been te advanced technology ever since the beginning of time. But it's all been kept a secret from us. What if possibly all the continents, what if actually they could have got split apart by these giant machines that split them apart? It's possible, but that I don't know because they keep erasing our memory The Agartha book, it did say that there's this, the aboriginals, it said that the aboriginals, that some of them actually eat worms. Like, what the fuck? They're like live worms. It's some type of tradition they do. I would not want to eat no damn live worm, would you? Hell no. Maybe for a million dollars. My face looks so crazy. <laughs> Ask me a question about Agartha. And Agartha, guess what they travel on? I don't think they really ride on cars much. They might have cars in there. They might have cars there in like certain places. But for the most part, they mostly fly around on hovercrafts. Did you know that? And the reason why they fly on hovercrafts is because they don't want to crush the ground. They don't want to crush the flowers and the plants. Because if you crush the flowers and the plants as you step on them, you're hurting the plants and they don't they don't want to hurt the blue the energetic blueprint pattern of the planet. In Agartha, they take their their farming very seriously. To be a farmer in Agartha, you have to really know what you're doing, and you have to be very spiritually. You have to be very spiritually up there and know what you're doing when you garden. Be they they go very deep into it, like. 
because they know the people who's gardening, who's in the farms, they know that the energy that you give off when you garden or farm, your energy goes into that plant. And if you have a bad energy within you, then your bad energy will go into the plant. And it changes the way the nutrition and the health is of the plant and the whole planet. And the Agartha book, it said that there's fairies that glow in Agartha. And they call them, I think, elementals. And these fairy elementals, they are the guardians of the soil of the planet. The, the fairy elementals, they are... They keep the soil and the plants healthy. They make sure they're healthy. And their land is so incredibly magical, just purely amazing, that their farms and gardens, they grow so fast compared to ours because they don't have any pollution in anything in their food, their water, or their air. So their farms, their food is able to grow like that their plants grow so fast right before your eyes because I remember one part of the book the one guy that was gardening he told the other guy to close his eyes and when he opened his eyes the farm had completely grew up right when he closed his eyes for a couple of seconds it grows within seconds, fully grown. I think fully grown. It was, it looked, it looked, I think he was saying it looked fully grown. Now you see why I'm trying so hard to teach about Agartha. If everybody knew this information that I knew, people would be trying to, te trying to teach about it like how I am. If only people knew about it the way I knew about it. Now it's showing Biden. It's just a scam, a charade, our whole government. And I bet you those people in the government, they, they do, I think they know about Agartha. And they're, they have to keep it a secret. Because these people in the government, they go on these secret underground trains... And they go on these secret underground trains, and you can go from, like, one part of the planet all the way to the other part of the planet, like, really quick. I think they said these train, these underground trains can go, like, 3,000 miles per hour, some ridiculously high speed. And they try to cover it all up. But we're figuring out the truth. And then that one Lord guy named Mal's Malch's Dick. He supposedly lives in Agartha too. And if you're really, really pure, you might, if your soul doesn't get sucked into the moon for you having to reincarnate over and over and over again as another person struggling for money, you might be able to reincarnate in Shambhala. You might reincarnate. You might go through that inner earth star sun. Because the energy of the planet is going in a loop. Here's the North Pole. There's the South Pole. Like the Taurus energy field. The energy is going through the planet. It's going out the hole. And it's looping around like a donut. And it keeps on looping around. So our souls might be able to follow the energy and loop up. And go around 
and go into that center part of the planet, into Shambhala. Shambhala is the capital city of Agartha, and Shambhala is the most magical city in Agartha because that is the city that is closest to the inner earth star sun. It's the city that's right around the star sun. And Shambhala is the spirit realm and it's the physical realm combined together. So if you get to go to Shambhala, if you are lucky enough to get to go to Shambhala, then you will see people who don't look like normal people. They look kind of like ghosts. Like you'll be able to see through them and they'll look kind they'll look like fragile and delicate. And some of them you'll see glow. Like at their whole body I think will some of them will glow. And some of them actually have a halo on their head that glows in Shambhala. I would definitely definitely like to reincarnate in Shambhala. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> if you know any information about Agartha, you're definitely more than welcome to say whatever you know about it. I probably need more water. My favorite thing to do, I think, is to scroll through YouTube Shorts. That's like my favorite thing to do, to scroll through YouTube Shorts and to, to scroll through TikTok videos. Because when you scroll through the videos, it creates a, like a dopamine effect in your brain. It kind of like almost gets you high in a way. And it also increases serotonin in your brain. And serotonin is good for you. It's like, it keeps you feeling happy. And I think it helps you sleep better, too. I forget what else serotonin does, but it does something else good. I'm gonna need some more water. And I, I forgot my cup. And in Agartha... Nobody goes hungry. Everybody gets to eat in Agartha. Everybody eats for free in Agartha. Eventually, more and more people are just going to figure out ways to make money off the internet. Really, money is outdated. Kind of like a cassette player. Thank you. We're not even supposed to be using money. The only reason why we use money is because those reptilian type of demonic things, they're the reason why we use money in the first place. Because before we had to use money, we was living way better off before we had to use money. And when the reptilians, when they came to this planet, from their planet, they declared themselves kings and queens of the planet. And you know how they declared themselves kings and queens of the planet? They just did it. They just said, they were basically like, I'm here, bitch. I'm taking over. Fuck you. That's basically how they did it. Like a bully. Like a bitch-ass bully. That's exactly how they took this planet over. Like a 
bunch of pieces of shit. Thanks. But on this channel, I don't want to talk about my body on this channel. But if you want to look at my body, you can go to my OnlyFans. <laughs> you can go to my OnlyFans page or my other page that starts with the P. And you can look at my body on there. But on here, I don't want to talk about my body, look at my body. On, I mean, I want to look at my body, but... I don't want to talk about my body. I just really want to talk about Agartha. That is like the main thing I want to talk about. Because if we all knew about it, we'd be getting to Agartha if we all knew about Agartha. Right, sure, you didn't mean to say that, right? Yeah, sure. Now her body look good. There's my little squirrel with the hat. <laughs> Agartha is pretty and it's way prettier than here. Like their mountains are bigger than here. Their waterfalls are probably bigger than our waterfalls. They have all these glowing fairies everywhere. They have glowing people everywhere. The whole body glows. It's a super magically awesome place. And I think the wildfires, you heard about the lasers. I think the lasers are doing a lot of the wildfires. My fairies. I don't want to take them out of the box because you know why? Because dolls can become possessed by demons. That's why I'm kind of scared about her and the stuffed animals. Hopefully they don't come alive and, like, try to do stuff. Her head, I didn't connect her head on all the way, because if I connected her head on, that's actually, that's actually Tifa's head from, fuck, what is that called? <laughs> Final Fantasy. That's her head from Final Fantasy. But I put her head on a different body, but her head, if I smoosh it down, she, she'll she look like she won't have a neck. So I just leave her head kind of like sitting on her neck. <laughs> oh, something else really cool about Agartha. Let me get some more water. Another thing that's really cool. Thanks. Sure, I wish I'd meet you too. <laughs> but what's really cool about Agartha is they can create things. This is one of the coolest things about Agartha. <laughs> they can create things with just their thoughts. Like, mm, let's say they need, they need a bed, right? Mm, 
All they gotta do is think of a bed, and poof, a bed appears in front of them. That quasi luminous guy, he said that if you die, there's some other realm that you can. Because I think when you die, there's different realms you can go into, or maybe different planets you can go to. It all probably depends on what you eat and how you are as a person. But even Quasi Luminous, he said that. I don't know if it's the Hell Realm, I don't know. Or the Heaven Realm. Oh, you could do it in the Heaven Realm too, according to this other book I wrote, read called On Angel's Wings. And you can create things with just your thoughts. And I read some article online, and I have it saved on my phone. I'll have to keep reading it. I think it's called the I Am Books, the St. Germain Books. I was reading part of it online, and this one guy was next to Mount Shasta. And this one glow I think it was a glowing being. I think it, it might I think it was St. Germain. And... I think St. Germain came up to this other guy, and he, he just, he gave him a cup of pure, it was like a cup of pure energy, like pure life energy, and when he gave him this cup, this cup of this pure liquid energy stuff, it was kind of like a, a type of, it looked, it was kind of sweet and it kind of looked like milk. And he said, this is like pure, raw, like, energy. It's just pure life. And he, he, the cup appeared in his hand out of nowhere. And the guy drank the cup. And he said he felt really good after he drank that. And he opened up his hand. And a gold coin appeared in his hand like magic. Because he was able to think of a gold coin. And when he thought of the gold coin, it just appeared in his hand like magic. Dude, y'all should try that. Like, take a piece of gold or something. Hold it in one hand. Hold it in one hand. And try to, uh, try to imagine the gold coin appearing in your other hand. And try to imagine... That you see it appearing in your other hand. You might actually be able to do it if you try. I would say try it every so often. See how my eyebrows are whack? <laughs> They'll like go different directions. Like it'll go up and then down. You see what I mean? It's like they're hard to get them to like look good. Because if I put like a an eyebrow pencil, <laughs> if I take like an eyebrow pencil and I like color my eyebrows in, you'll see it on me. Now on some people they can pull it off, but on me, when I do that, you can see it and on me it looks like fucking shit. Looks like straight shit. Like, any little dot I do, you can see it. And it's like, any little dot I do looks like shit. <laughs> well, I'll try to find you on there after I end this video. Oh, there is an Agartha princess. Oh, fuck, what was her name? Her name is in one of the books I have. <gasps> oh my gosh, I remember her name. I think I remember her name. I think her name is Sharula. I think. And she... I think she's the princess of Telos. That city that's underneath Mount Shasta. And she's like really pretty. I ain't probably going to have no kids, so I don't have to worry about no, 
I don't have to worry about vaccinating my kids because I don't think I'm going to have any. No. Because most people are just going to think I'm cuckoo. Because <laughs> most people have no idea what I'm talking about. Like, if I were to get with a guy to have a kid, he would have to be on my level of what I know. And I'm very picky. Uh, and men are very picky, too. Everybody's, well, maybe not everybody, but I'm picky. Because I've always picked the wrong guys, and where has that led me? Not good. Am I going to lower my standards? Hell no. I ain't lowering my standards, because if I lower my standard, standards, I'll just have some hobo off the street. <laughs> so I ain't lowering my standards, no. I'm either, I'll just be single, or fuck it. <laughs> See, you can tell I could do good on my comedy channel if I tried. If I knew what to talk about. <laughs> Because I know I have, like, really funny faces. <laughs> and all these storms that's happening, or, like, the bad weather, rainy weather. In Agartha, they don't have any rain. They don't have any bad weather in Agartha. In Agartha, they have some moisture in the air, but it's like a light mist of water in the air. That's one of the ways the Agartha people are able to live such a long time. These Agartha people could be hundreds of years old, possibly even thousands of years old. And they still look like they're in their 20s or 30s. This is mind-bogglingly insane. Because they don't have any pollution in anything. At all. They get the highest quality of life possible and that's how we are supposed to be we got to get like them the agarthan people that's why my youtube channel is called reuniting us with agartha because i'm trying to teach about agartha to get us to agartha because i'm woke i'm real woke I'm like a little too woke, you know what I'm saying? Wow, she's doing the pick three. In Agartha, they don't have to worry about money. Was it the type of autism where you're like really smart and you like can do stuff really good? Oh, uh, because I drank all that water now I have to pee again. Even the Agartha people have to pee. If they're in their physical body. The Agartha people that live in their spiritual body and they don't live in their physical body. I don't think those ones have to pee. <gasps> oh, see, I'm like a master teacher. I am such a freaking master teacher. <laughs> and then I'll forget what I'm saying. I'll just blank out out of, out of excitement. Hold on, it'll come back to me. And it's like when I talk too much, it's like I forget to breathe because I'm so excited.
Well, that's the good type of autism, because sometimes you can have that type of autism, and you can remember stuff really well. Like my dad, he's, I think my brother has autism, but he's got that smart type to where he's so smart. When he went to, I don't know if he was buying skins or something for one of his video games. And my dad said that my brother stole his mom's credit card. And my dad said that my brother could remember all the numbers of her credit card by heart. That's pretty smart, because I don't remember all the numbers of my credit card by heart. That's a lot of numbers. But in Agartha, they can travel to the other planets through Agartha. Through, on their spaceships. They definitely have spaceships in Agartha. For sure. For sure, for sure. And hovercrafts, for sure. And the hovercrafts are round. I don't think they drive cars in Agartha. But I know the hovercrafts and everything is powered by free energy. And this free energy is powered, it's powered by the inner earth star sun that's at the very center of the planet. There's even help centers in Agartha where it's a light shining down on you. And if you need help with something, you, you ask the light for whatever it is that you have a question about that you want help with. And... I think it's it's got to be that inner earth star sun. And that light will speak back to you. And it'll tell you the answer of what it is you want to know. That's pretty freaking cool. They call that help centers. And their temples. They don't pray in their temples. And in their temples, they don't worship anybody or anything they go to their temples to meditate like a like a home. they go there to do that and in Agartha everybody helps everybody and everybody treats everybody with respect Nobody steals anything from anybody else in Agartha. They live the way we wish we could live. For real. And it really doesn't matter if anybody thinks I'm crazy when I talk about Agartha. It really doesn't matter what people think. Or what, it doesn't matter what, it doesn't matter what they think about me. Who gives a fuck what people think about me? I don't give a fuck if they think I'm crazy. It does not matter. Because oftentimes the truth is stranger than fiction. And at my job, I work 12 hours. That is a very long time. And not only do I work 12 hours, I work day and night. Day and night. 12 hours? What the fuck? That's a long time. That's It feels like it's designed to kill us. And Agartha, they only work four hours per day. Four fucking hours. And they don't work for money. Because they don't need money. They don't use money and they don't need money, but they're living way better than us. They're living far better than us. The reason why we live so shitty is because we have we our bills cost a lot of money and we don't make enough money to pay hardly be able to pay our bills. That's cuz those reptilian things they have this system rigged 
because that's the whole point. The reptilians, they don't want you to be able to pay for your bills or to pay for your food. This surface world was not, we're not supposed to be up here. You can tell the surface world, it ain't designed for us to be in. Like, we can be in it, but up here, those reptilian things, they got this system very dysfunctional. And that's, we're not supposed to live our life real dysfunctional. We're supposed to be able to function. <laughs> I mean, it's like in this day and age, you have to work like five jobs just to pay some. I mean, like, what the fuck? They only work four hours in Agartha. Four hours? J just imagine if you only work four hours a day. Imagine how happy you'd be. <laughs> We're supposed to be able to live happy, not live like zombie slaves for the demon reptilians. And the book said when they swim in their water in Agartha, that... Their water is so alive that their the water actually communicates with you when you swim in it. Because their water is so alive and so awake. We're drinking dead water. That's why when you're in the water, you don't, you don't hear the water talking to you. But when you're in Nagartha, you hear the water speak to you. It's pretty freaking wild. But if you get to see the dragons that are in Agartha, the dragons, they don't, they're kind of like a wild, think of like a wild deer. A deer is usually not going to try to like, a deer's usually going to try to run away from you. You know how like anim, wild animals, they get scared and they run away. That's kind of like how the dragons are in Agartha. Like, I bet you anything that archaeologists and people have probably dug up dragon bones. And you know the Smithsonian's? Like how they say when they find these giant skeletons, I bet you you've heard it. They, they grind up the skeletons because they don't want us to know that they found these giants. Because they're trying to cover up our true history. And I would not be surprised if the Smithsonian's is part of the reptilians. Because the reptilians will try to do anything they can to cover up our true history of who we are and where we came from and what is really going on. There's a piece of amber. I want some more amber jewelry. I don't really like the piece of metal that's on top of the amber because it kind of blocks it. But I like how it's like a chunk. Like a thick chunk. Oh, and Agartha, if you can get there, they will give you a big old wad of money. If, if they know you have to come back to the surface for some type of mission or something, they'll give you a wad of money. I don't know how they do it. I don't know if they print it. They might have a machine down there that prints it. Or maybe they just use their mind. Maybe they just make the money with their mind. They might. I know they could do that with the gold. I don't know if they could just make it with dollar bills. They might. Because their minds, they're living billions of years into the future compared to us. Because in one part of the Agartha book that I read, the Tim Timothy guy, he was living in Seattle and he had to come back to the surface. And dude, I forget the other guy's name. But the other guy, he gave him a big old wad of money to come back to the surface. Oh, I gotta go pee again. Damn, pee. I'll be right back. I gotta go pee.
so oh man now I gotta get more water because I know I put the Florida in our they put the Florida in our water because they're trying to kill us then I try to filter my water with the water pitcher and Agartha their water does not have any toxins in it they don't have any fluoride in their water in Agartha or any pollution in their water See, I take my water and I put it in here with the filter inside of it to try to get out the fluoride because I'm poor so I just put it in here so that means every time I want water I have to keep putting more water in it well at least it gives me a good workout We need to get the hell out of this ghetto ass apartment. Thank you. This is a ghetto apartment. This is this is the handle to the kitchen sink. What the fuck? There's glue in there. What the fuck? We got slum lords, y'all. Seeing a Gartha their landlords are not slum lords like here have you ever noticed have you ever had a slum lord like they they came in here and they inspected the place right while we were gone while me and my mom was gone and they so they seen the sink is broken they seen it broke but they don't give a fuck they don't give a damn a rat's ass. See? Now you're always going to hear me saying, we are in some type of a hell. But we have to be happy. I love hell. <laughs> it's great. Damn you eyebrows. See what I mean? How I like try to get them perfect. They'll either go too high up or too far down. Fuck you, eyebrows. I don't want to shave them off like Doja Cat. I would not be surprised if Doja Cat had to sell her soul to get fame and money. Because you see how she'd be like demonic and dressed like a devil and a demon in her music videos? And she's like a sexual type of predator. Like she's sucking your soul away. Because she probably had to sell her soul. And I think the reptilians is behind all that. About that the reptilians is behind making these celebrities sell their soul to the devil. Like even Jack Black. Jack Black admitted in a video that he had to sell his soul to the devil. For him to get famous, like rich and famous. And I bet you these celebrities, they know. They know they can get murdered at any time. But I guess their mentality is like, fuck it, we're gonna die anyway. I guess they're just like, fuck it, give me the money. And they're like, fuck it, kill me whenever you want, as long as I die rich, right? 
Damn you, Abro. See how it wants to be like gappy right there? Because I made them too thin before and they don't really want to grow right. So now they're like really thin. I play with the eyebrow too much. That looks better. That looks alright. Oh wait, I forgot the damn water. And our big fridge is broke. So we're using a little half size fridge. Please God get us out of this little apartment. That would be nice. Like, I deserve to live better than this. They probably live better than kings and queens in Agartha. I want to get that one thing off of Amazon. It works your chin neck out. Because that's because when you get old, that's like one of the first things that gives away how old you are. Is when your neck gets all fucked up looking. Because you have to work that muscle out. Like. Thank you. See, as you get older, you have to do this. Even though it looks retarded. You have to do that. I seen my dad doing that. I'm like, huh? And I'm like, oh, okay. He's trying to work this muscle out. Because the old people, it'll get flabby right in here and here. They have something on Amazon where you set it on your neck right here and you push down. And it helps build strengthen the muscle in this whole area. Thank you. That's probably how they sound in Agartha. Their voices are probably very soothing in Agartha. See, I want to live like how they live. I want to learn all I can about what they know. And the book I'm trying to read, but I keep getting distracted by scrolling through YouTube shorts and TikTok videos. Because it's so fun and like addictive and awesome to watch all these different little short videos. Because you never know what interesting video you might see, that you might like. And you can learn stuff from the YouTube short videos, even if it's just a short video. Do you speak English? I know you speak English, Fabian. If you speak English, and you know I'm speaking English, I don't know what you said. You know I don't know what you said. But, I mean, it's probably something good, but I don't know what you said. I don't know what Femme means. Okay, I gotta learn some more Spanish. Ooh, and French. <laughs> One time I did hear these one people speak Russian in Job Corps. Oh my god. If you ever hear people speak Russian fluently and they speak it really good and you hear them speak it in front of you it definitely sounds better than Spanish. It probably sounds better than French. Because French is very, beaucoup, <laughs> very, 
Mesua. Susu. I think French sounds. Oh, French. I think it sounds. I don't know how it sounds. It sounds okay. I'm gonna try to learn some different languages. <laughs> At least like some of the basic words. Cause that'd be cool. I bet the people in Agartha they can they probably know a bunch of languages because they're so freaking smart. <gasps> oh my gosh! In Agartha, they don't even have to move their lips when they talk. In Agartha, now you know I don't know what you're saying. Two eras, drawless. I don't know what that means. You know I don't know what that means. There ain't no way you don't speak English. Because English is like the dominant language of the planet. That's why, I, I mean, we don't have to learn any other languages to survive, but eh, it's still better to learn some other languages. Just, just to know it, just because it's cool. <laughs> but every language has like their own little flair, their own accent. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but in a guard there, they speak telepathically. And when you hear them speak, it sounds very clear in your mind of what they're saying. And they could speak perfect English. That's so exciting, isn't it? Oh, I did have an experience one time. When I actually did hear someone's voice inside my head. Sometimes, when you take magic mushrooms or acid, it unlocks. It helps you to use more of your brain that you don't normally use. So my mind is very expanded. Very, very expanded. <laughs> Like, I remember, oh, and I've seen this one girl, she said she took acid, and she said her and this other guy were speaking telepathically to each other for like an hour. But in Agartha, this is a normal, natural thing in Agartha. They don't need, I don't think they need any drugs to be able to speak te telepathically. That's one of those things, when you be, when your mind and body become so healthy in advance, that's one of those superpower things you're able to do. If we didn't have all this pollution in our food, water, and air, we would be able to speak telepathically too. And we would have all these other type of powers too. Now you're lucky if you can experience these powers when you have magic mushrooms or acid. But I remember one time when I had a tiny little bit of acid like it was like the size of my pinky nail and my pinky nail, nail is small and it was just a thin little piece of paper and my face was shiny because I needed to wash my face <laughs> and as this girl walked past me I just caught a glimpse of her eyes and her face as I walked past her and I read her thoughts, and it sounded just like she was speaking it right in my mind. Like I could hear, tell exactly what she was saying, but right in like the center of my brain. And she said, you need to wash your face. And I was looking at her when I heard her say it, but her mouth was not moving. That's so cool, right? See, I'm telepathic, and so are you. And if you don't think you've had telepathic experiences, chances are you probably have, and you might not have known that you had the experience, but chances are it's probably happened to you. Because we all have that power within us to be able to
do things with just the power of our thoughts. Like, you can move things with your mind with just the thoughts. But in order to move things with just your thoughts, you have to start with a very tiny object. It's just like a weight. Now, if you lift weights, are you going to lift a big-ass weight? Or are you going to start off with the weight you can pick up? You're going to probably want to start out with a weight that you can handle. It's the same way with moving objects with your mind. It's a muscle. It's a part of a muscle of your mind. So I guess you don't speak English? I guess. <laughs> right. You speak English, because why would you want to watch me if you didn't know what I was saying? Exactly. Damn, I got like a big ass forehead. <laughs> Hmm, what else should I teach about Agartha? <gasps> then I'll try to learn more French. I'll use that Duolingo app and that Google Translate. It can sound good, the French. Oh man, now I'm back to hungry again. Oh my god, it's already... Oh my god, it's already like freaking almost 3 o'clock in the morning. What the fuck? <gasps> Maybe we're not becoming as bound to time anymore. Because in Agartha, they don't really, they don't worry about time like how we worry about time. They don't worry about it as much as us. Time is different. It works differently for them than it does for us. For them, time goes by extremely quickly. For us, it goes by a lot slower. I think the reason why is because they get to enjoy their time a lot more than us. And you've already noticed, when you enjoy your time, time will fly by very quickly when you enjoy your time. And, they'll, and it'll, be it'll be thousands of years later. And they still look like in their 20s or 30s. Because they're not worried about time. They don't... They think more positively than how we think. Because they're not bom bom bombarded by this demonic news that's t like trying to lower our vibrational energy. <gasps> oh my gosh. And I'm the re one of the reasons why I'm so charismatic is because one of my zodiac type things, I think it's my planet. I think it's my ruling planet. I think it's because my ruling planet, my ruling planet is Mercury. And I think if you're ruled under that planet sign, then you have a lot of charisma. I'll have to look it back up. So one of my zodiac type things it could have something to do with my life path number 11, but I think it's the planet Mercury. And I'm very charismatic. Like, very. Which is freaking awesome, because I need charisma to teach about Agartha. What is that one scene? Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's this one city inside of Agartha called the Great Chasm. And the Great Chasm, the people there, they're way taller than the other people in Agartha. And I told this one person about the Great Chasm. This person told me, this is what they said. They, they said they knew about the Great Chasm. I don't know if they're lying or telling the truth or not. But they said, in the Great Chasm, 
You heard of Odin? He's a um like a Nor Norse mythological god. Odin. He's like a really known god. Or pe a lot of people have heard of him. And this guy told me that the people that live in the Great Chasm, he said they're they are the descendants of Odin. And in the book, it says that the people from the Great Chasm, they dress like Vikings. They dress in animal skins. Good morning. And in Agartha, you get the highest quality of health care, the highest quality care possible. While we're sitting over here fucked in the ass, like with a razor blade. We're having to pay for every little thing. I bet you anything like when people die, right? Their family member, guess who probably has to pay the bill for the ambulance and everything? I bet it's the other family member. Unless if they have life insurance. I guess if someone don't have life insurance, the other family member has to pay for it. That's terrible. That's so fucking bullshitty. It's crazy. <gasps> All in Agartha. There'll be like lions and bears. And all kinds of these uh, wild animals walking around everywhere. That you can just go up to a line and just start petting it. The only thing you gotta do is don't show any fear. If you don't show any fear to the animals, the animals won't harm you. Then one part in the Agartha book, it said that was it Shala? No. Fuck, I forgot her name. It might have been Shala. I don't think it was Shala. I forget her name. But the, one of the... <laughs> it'll, it'll come to me later, maybe. But one of the main character chicks, she went to... She was in Telos and a group of people who got to Agartha by accident. They got. They went through the giant hole at the north at the at the uh, northern California mountain and Mount Shasta. They accidentally went through the the dorm. I wish I could accidentally. Well, not accidentally. I wish I'd go through that door. But the main character lady, she got some of the people that the new people that was living in Agartha, and she got them all in a group, and they all sat on the grass. And she, I think she blew a, a whistle or did she, she did something. She either blew a whistle or she clapped her hands. I can't remember which one she did, but when she did it, all the animals in the area ran toward her and all the animals gathered around her and they just kind of stood there and was like staring at her and the animals just kind of stayed there hypnotized just staring at her and the people they were kind of thinking like what the fuck like it was all kinds of different wild animals and they just all ran up to her i'll have to look back and see if it was if she blew a whistle it might have been a whistle and the animals just i think kind of just stared at them for a while for a minute and then she clapped her hand, and then all the animals just ran away. And she said the reason why she did that, she wanted the people there to show no fear to the animals. Something else might have happened during that time, but I forget what it was. I'd have to look back at it. Because just don't don't show no fear to the animals in Agartha. They might actually hurt you if you show fear, but 
I ain't gonna show no fear. And if I were to get to a Agartha and I'd actually see the real Jesus, I am not gonna. If he says I'm Jesus and I'm and I know I'm in Agartha, there's no way that I'm going to not believe him. I'm gonna believe him if I know I'm down there. Yeah, I'm gonna believe him because that's Agartha. And if you're in Agartha, people. People don't lie to you in Agartha. They're not about that life. That lying, pathological liar. Li they're not about that life. They really actually like it. Like if you ask them a question. If you want to learn something. They enjoy. Because they don't have to work for money. They have all this time to do all this stuff. What, like whatever they want to do. And they have like all this free time. So if you have a question, they actually enjoy taking you to show you your answer. Like, let's say, let's say you want to learn about the dragons. And you go, are there dragons here? Oh, they will take you in to show you a dragon. Doesn't that sound freaking cool? And as long as you don't mess with the dragon, you just leave them alone. Like, you can look at the dragon... But you're supposed to just leave them alone and let them be at peace. Because that's the whole reason why they came to Agartha. Is to live in peace away from our dumb asses. Our destructive dumb asses. It's probably those demonic shape-shifting reptilians. That's probably... They probably got in our minds... And they made us, like, retarded and destructive. That could be maybe why we killed the dragons. Or, I mean, we didn't kill them all because some of them went to Agartha. Or, maybe, possibly, maybe some of the dragons tried to eat the people. Maybe that's why the people kept killing the dragons. And then maybe when the dragons got to Agartha, maybe they turned good. <gasps> And guess what my Chinese zodiac sign is? A dragon. Yep. I'm a master life path 11. Who is a dragon in Chinese zodiac sign? That's pretty cool. But dragons are not just all demonic. They can be just like purely majestic and magical and awesome. Like me. Thank you. This commercial says the average cost of hearing aids is $5,000. Meanwhile, in Agartha, you get it for free. Now it's saying, you only get, you get a pair of hearing aids for $99. Then that is not worth no $5,000. If it was worth $5,000, they would not be giving it to you for $99. They're just trying to trick your mind into buying it. They're making you think, oh my gosh, let me buy it. See, in this part of the world, the surface world, they, the reptilian things got us living in competition like like big corporations competing with one another that's terrible in Agartha there is no competition because everybody helps everybody they live the way the good God intended for us all to live and here we're all fucked up it's great no, I'm just kidding. We're not all all fucked up, but the majority of us, there's something wrong with a lot of us, <laughs> but not all of us, but you know what I mean? Because it's the system. The system's demonic, and it, us stressing about money is sad, very sad. See, I said money, then she said money. 
That would be nice if money did not exist. Wouldn't that be great? And you could just create things with your thoughts. I'm going to try to do that one day. Like, I'm going to try to get it. Oh, oh my God. Ooh, I should try to get like a gold. Mm, maybe like a plain. I bet it. I should get like a plain piece of gold. Just plain. Because I would imagine if it's got more details on it, it would be harder to do. I should get like a plain little piece of gold. And I should. <laughs> I should put it in one hand. And I should imagine that piece of gold appearing like magic and replicating itself and going into my other hand. That's something like what the inner earth people do. That's probably a common thing in Agartha. In one part of the book, when the main character chick, when she was talking to the new, the new people who arrived, in Telos, she pulled out a bouquet of flowers out of nowhere. She just, they just appeared in her hand like a magic. See, the demonic reptilians, they made us feel like this part of the planet, they took a lot of the magic away and made us feel like made it like hard for us to live life was not meant to be this hard to live life was supposed to be easy and happy and it wasn't supposed to be very stressful i have to go post some pictures soon on my only fans account <laughs> If I could just post a few pictures on my OnlyFans account, like here in a minute, I'll feel like I, <laughs> I'll feel like I accomplished something for the day because I changed the car battery in the car today because when I Googled it and it said if your car is 50%, 50% or lower, then you should probably change your battery to be on the safe side. So I went shopping at Walmart and <laughs> and I bought groceries and some plants <laughs> and got the battery change. <gasps> and you know what I was gonna get? I was gonna get the battery <clears throat> where you can you can jump yourself. So if your car if your battery dies, you don't have to rely on someone else to jump jump your car. But of course, I forgot to get it. I'll get it one day. But hopefully the battery will be good for like three years, probably. Thank you. If I ever were to get anything done to my lips. I like that part when their top lip right there at the bottom. I like it when people's lips dips down in the bottom. Like that is so super sexy. Now, I would just want it to dip. I wouldn't want, like, I don't really care if the rest, I don't want the rest of it thicker, like, the top. I would not mess with the bottom lip. But I, all I want is, like, like a little dip right there. Like, I know you, Lawrence, your lips look really good, and you have, like, that little dip right there. I love it when they have that little dip right in the center of the lip. It's so, it, when I see, like, the little dip right there, it looks like angel lips. But at least I kind of have a little bit of thickness to my lips. And I haven't had no nothing done to my lips. But it would be, but I don't really have a dip. I have like a dip on the, right there and right there. But in the middle it goes up like that in the middle. But see, it was like, see the dip? Mm -mm. And it like dips down just a tiny bit. But it would be nice to have a little dip in the middle right, right there. That would be so cool. But no, I mean, watch them do my lips and they'll be like crazy looking. <laughs> I probably don't need to get nothing done to it. It's probably fine. I wonder, does anybody think about the little dip in the lip in the middle? Like how I think about it? Does anybody think about that? 
Or is that just like me thinking about that? Because everybody thinks about stuff differently. Now they're showing the Drew Barrymore show. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Now, I had heard Drew Barrymore. She had said that she started to be in, in I think, in movies when she was like 11 months old. So, this Masonic type of Illuminati type MK Ultra stuff, she was probably born into that type of stuff. I like the purple on her outfit. I like that kind of light purple. Like, you see that purple? You probably can't really see the... It's hard to see the purple color because the TV's far away. But in Agartha, a lot of them wear uh, pastel colored clothes. And a lot of them wear robes. And a lot of them will wear like sparkly belts, like glittery belts. And they get to have a lot more connection with the angels than us. Like, there, supposedly, there's angels always around us. Now, I don't know if we got two good angels around us and two demons around us at all times. I don't know if these. What do you think? Do you think the angels that's around us. Do you think they like live in our body? Or do you think. Because cause when some of these celebrities, when they say they have to sell their soul, supposedly they have to let a demon enter into their soul. And they have to share their body with a demon. These MK Ultra type of celebrities. But I wonder, maybe the angels that follow us around, maybe, maybe they like sit beside us. Supposedly the angels that's around us, supposedly they're not allowed to they're not allowed to interfere with our life. They're supposed to only help us when we really really need help. Like if we're in like some type of trauma, then they're supposed to do something to help us. But supposedly if you can figure out how to Well, actually one of the books I think was saying that even if you just ask for help, supposedly the angels that's around you, if you ask them for their help, now they'll they'll try to help you. But I don't know. I guess sometimes if they feel like you want to see them. Oh, that, that chick, Mariana, Mariana Stigerna, the lady who wrote the Agartha book, she said that... And Mariana Stajerna, she's like, I think she's like 103 or 104 years old or so. She's either between 102 years old or like 104 years old, somewhere around that age. And she, I think she lives in Sweden, and she's the one who wrote the Agartha book. And she wrote a few books. And I have some of her books. I want to buy all her books and read them all. And... She said the person who told her the story of Agartha, she said she was meditating on her couch. And while she was meditating, this guy appeared in front of her. And he told her the story about Agartha. And the guy who told her the story about Agartha... He was a normal person. He was a normal person like you and I. And he used to live in Seattle. And when And when he when he got to Agartha, he he went to this one place called, I think it was called the House of Transformation. And St. Germain took him to the House of Transformation. And it was this marble type of a building. And it had this gorgeous fountain there. And...
Fuck, what was I talking about? <laughs> he took him to the house of transformation. <laughs> Sometimes I'll... Because I'm talking so much, it's like... It's like, oh my god, I gotta breathe. And it's like... Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> I'm trying to watch TV too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, um... The guy who told her the story of Agartha, he was a normal person like you and I. And he went to the House of Transformation with St. Germain. And St. Germain showed him how to become fifth dimensional. In the book, they didn't want to teach how you become fifth dimensional. But I think of how, I think how you become fifth dimensional I think it's where you live. It's definitely positivity. Living your life in positivity. Living your life through your heart. And being a good person. And just being the best person you could be. And sh projecting out a lot of good vibrational energy. That, I think the higher your energy in, of your vibrations increases... That is what makes you become fifth dimensional, I think, in my opinion. And when you're in Agartha, your vibrations go up so high, you are able to get all, you are able to unlock all these different type of superpowers, and you become almost like an X-Men yourself. How exciting is that? Now you see why I'm trying to teach about Agartha. So... When Tim from the book went to the House of Transformation with St. Germain. Since he became fifth dimensional. Because I remember him saying he was doing a lot of dancing and like enjoying himself. And somehow, I guess when you become fifth dimensional. You are able to project yourself through the planet. To whoever you want to project yourself in. You can make your body appear. In another part of the planet. While your body is still in the other part of the planet. But you're projecting the soul part of you to another part of the planet. And somehow he was able to control himself doing that. And supposedly. Mariana Stagirna said that. He projected himself, his soul part, to her, and he appeared in front of her, and he told her the Agartha story, and he purposely told her the story, because this information about Agartha needs to be spread to as many people as possible. That's why you're probably going to see more and more books that talk about Agartha. But since it's almost four in the morning, I probably should go to bed, right? I guess next time when I make a live video. Oh, so when you make a live video, you can like tell, you can like make a post, right? About when you're going to do it. That's what I need to do next time so I can get more people to watch it live. Because nobody knew I was making the live video. I'll try to do that next time. But definitely, if you have any questions about Agartha, definitely ask me whatever you want to ask me. And I might know the answer. Maybe. But in Agartha, they probably have... Okay. They probably have all the same stuff. Mostly all the same stuff we have. In Agartha, it's probably just all even better than what we have. Like, we're living like cavemen compared to how these Agartha people are living. And if these Agartha people, if I could get them to, like, really notice me, if they knew I was teaching about Agartha, they might actually send one of their people to come up here to come get me to take me to Agartha. They might actually do that to some of the people... If you're that spiritually high up in advance and your vibration vibrates at a high enough level and they notice that, 
they might actually come and get you individually and take and invite you to live in Agartha with them so you can live a happy life. <gasps> and I read this one article online and it said it in the Agartha book too. It said, remember Nikola Tesla? And he tried to give us all free energy. Remember that? It was like, what? wasn't it like the, the was it the late 1800s or early 1800s? Or early 1900s? Something like that. But Nikola Tesla was trying to give us all free energy. And the inner earth people, according to this article, the inner earth people noticed that he was trying to give us all free energy. And so the article says that two people knocked on his door and they said, we're here to take you to your new home. And then the article said he got on a submarine. <clears throat> he got on a submarine and he went and went through an entrance under the water. And probably some type of secret underwater cave or something. And supposedly, St. Germain. <laughs> well, yeah, St. Germain. But supposedly, Nikola Tesla. Is living in Agartha to this day. And he's, they say he got greeted by a guy with a German accent. And that he's living in a city. Like a German type of city. Maybe what happened. You know. Say I'm reading the. I'm trying. I want to read. Oh, I'm starting to read. I'm kind of almost in the middle of the book. I need to read it. Remember that guy. Night God 333. On his YouTube channel. And remember how he. Had said. He recommended that we should. Uh, read the book. The um. The Noska Funding books. I think there's two of them. And. Supposedly the Noska Funding books. Talk about. These people. Who went to the other side of the ice wall. And if you go to the other side of the ice wall. Supposedly, there's more land on the other side of the ice, and you can get to the other planets over if you go over the ice. Kind of like how in the beginning of Game of Thrones, when they showed the people on top of the ice, the ice wall. But I'm gonna try because I want to know what that book says about. Because supposedly there was a, like way back thousands of years ago, supposedly. There was giants, like a um, like a whole city of giants, and they called it Tartaria. And Tartaria was somewhere around Siberia and Russia. And some people think that the Kremlin, that Russian building where Putin lives in, some people think that that's the top of the building. That if you go underneath the Kremlin, supposedly... <clears throat> Supposedly, there's more to that video, I mean, more to the building of the Kremlin under the ground, that over time, when floods happened, then they put mud, they purposely took mud and they covered up over a lot of these buildings to try to cover up our history of the giants, because the giants probably had giant uh, buildings. And the evil ones, they don't want you to see these giant buildings. And a lot of the giant buildings are further down under the ground. To me, it sounds like there was giants inside the planet. And they slowly, over time, they work their way up out the planet. But the evil ones, they don't want us to see these giant cities. That would be kind of cool, though. That would be very cool. That would be cool to be an archaeologist. But... I don't think they get paid a lot of money. They need to get paid more damn money. But it would probably be, it would be cool to be an archaeologist. To like, 
discover ancient fascinating stuff I want to see Damsel. I'm so poor, I don't even have Netflix. <laughs> That's so sad. Because I'm so poor, I'm trying to save money. Ain't it great? It's wonderful. See, I'm still just watching Drew Barrymore. And on my tiny itty bitty TV, because <laughs> I'm so damn poor. <laughs> but I'm like the man of the house. <laughs> I wonder if I want to make live videos on my comedy channel. I wonder if on my comedy channel. I wonder if I have to have over a thousand subscribers on my comedy channel in order to do a live video on there. Or I wonder if it just goes from the sub subscribers I have on this channel. I probably have to have over a thousand subscribers on my comedy channel. Probably. Because you know how we're in some type of hell. And everything, they try to make it all difficult. Of course. It's wonderful. But at least my teeth are mostly straight. Oh, she just said Tom Cruise. And did you know his teeth, like the middle of his teeth? Like you see my, like mine goes down. His middle teeth, like is over here. Tom Cruise's middle teeth. If you ever look at his teeth, it, it's like, you'll see it. It's like, oh my God. Because you don't notice it until you see it. <laughs> I'm watching a clip of Dan Damsel. Oh my God. He just threw her off the side. That was so fucked up. I like Drew Barrymore. She's cool. I like the way she acts and talks. But I wonder if they torture her. Have y'all ever heard of that? The MK Ultra? Where they like torture celebrities. And ooh, I wonder if they'll murder me. If they, nah, probably not. Cause I'm just mm, I'm just a ghost. I'm just nobody. They probably won't try to murder me. They're probably like, fuck that bitch. <laughs> I bought these uh, sparkly shoes today Oh I can flip the camera around But I bought these today Aren't they cute Oh man I only got a tiny bit of I gotta change my toenail paint But that's cute But in, yeah, Nagartha, they don't wear shoes that often. They use, in Nagartha, they use their poop as fertilizer. I wonder what their toilets look like in Nagartha. Because <laughs> I don't, I don't know if they have like a sewer system like how we have. They probably just take their poo and put it straight in their garden. <laughs> probably. But they say the flowers in Agartha is super fragrant. Like, smells way stronger than our flowers. Like, everything's way better there. That's why I'm trying to teach about it, so I can try to get us to get to Agartha. I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to, like, spend my entire life teaching about Agartha. Even if I only wake up, like... Even if I only wake up, like, a couple of people... 
Hey, waking up a couple of people is better than waking up nobody. Even if I just, like, wake up one person. I don't know. You never know what that one person might do. That one person might go into it and learn a bunch of, a bunch of it. And then they might teach other people. Because that's what we're supposed to do. Once you find out about Agartha and Reptilians. You're really supposed to teach others about it. Because if this stuff is the truth. The truth will set us free from us being tortured to death. What's better, being tortured or not being tortured? Mm, I would say not being tortured is better than being tortured. Because too, too many people are born into poverty and too way too many people are struggling in life. And... That ain't how life was supposed to be. We weren't supposed to be struggling, you know. But if you have my OnlyFans page, yeah, that couch is big. You see that couch? I never seen a couch that big. That's like a bed, like a bed couch. But yeah, I'm about when I get off the video, I'm about to go on my OnlyFans page and I'm about to uh, I'm about to post some pictures of me really quickly before I go to sleep. I probably won't use my toy. I want to use my toy, but I'm not gonna use it because I've gotta go to sleep. And tomorrow I have to work. Tomorrow night I have to work. 12 hours. I have to work from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Can you just imagine working from... Tw I mean, what the fuck did I say? I have to work 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. I, I said 12. Could you just imagine having to work from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m.? Sorting through bottles and cleaning the floor and dropping big ass heavy bags. And as the bag goes up, it goes super slow. The bag goes like this slow. That's why they'll have me drop the bags because it goes up so slow. And nobody's gonna want to drop those bags. Then I have to. Cl then after the bag comes up, then I have to use the remote, and then I have to pull the bag over. Then I have to bring it down. Then I have to cut the bottom of the bag, and I have to empty it, empty out all the flake into the hopper. And now let me just keep dropping the mags. That way it can get washed. And they don't want me to let the machine run out a flake. Or else he'll say I have to keep up with production. I guess I better hurry up and um post some pictures on my OnlyFans page. And then probably should go to sleep. <gasps> maybe when I wake up if I if I feel like it and I have the energy. Maybe I can play with my toy. My special toy. 
<laughs> Mermaid drain magic. <laughs> That's what's on TV. Well, thanks for watching my video, and I'm going to go post some pictures on my OnlyFans page now. So, you, I don't know why these other YouTubers, they always be saying, I'll see you soon. It's like, why are you saying that? You know you ain't going to see them. I mean, maybe, but I don't know. But I'm just going to say, you will see me soon, hopefully. So, yeah. Deuces, y'all. Bye-bye. What do I do? <laughs> I don't know how to end it. Do I just push the X? That's what I do, right? If I push the X, will it fuck it all up? I'm just going to push the X and we'll see if that works. Deuces.